Alright, so the director's previous film was The Devil Inside. Let's hope this at least has an ending to it. The Boy. So The Boy is a new horror film that follows Greta, who is played by Maggie from The Walking Dead, Laurie Cohen, as she takes this nanny job. She goes to England to be this nanny for this boy who acts, who's actually a doll while the parents go out. And things happen while she's there. Alright guys, so let's get into The Boy. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie guys, January movies, horror movies, don't really mix up too well, especially since that this is the guy who directed The Devil Inside. Now, if you guys remember correctly, The Devil Inside was my number 10 most hated film of 2012. I can tell you this though, this is miles better than The Devil Inside. I can definitely say this. It actually has an ending. But no, the acting is actually, it's actually quite fine. Though, Lori Cohen from The Walking Dead is so good. She commands this entire movie. I would love to see her in more stuff. For what she is given, she does a really well done job. The other actors are fine, but really this is Lori Cohen's movie. With last year's Annabelle, I didn't think this was gonna be good, especially since it's a January film. And I gotta say, I thought the doll here looked actually creepier than the Annabelle doll in Annabelle. And all I have to say right here, the production design alone is very well done. I mean, especially when you go inside the house, it has this very, like, spooky feel to it. I love the production design and the cinematography. It's a very well shot film and has just the right look to it. I really loved how, I really liked how the film was shot. Now, the thing is, unlike The Devil Inside, the boy is actually quite creepy sometimes. The second half, right when something happens in the second half, I thought the movie just picked up at full speed. I have to say, there's actually one little point where I was just like, okay, that was actually really creepy. That actually happened, I think, two or three times throughout the second half. This film does have a plot twist near the end of it. Now, even though I've seen this twist done a million times before, the way it was done almost felt like new, almost fresh. First of all, the acting besides Lori Cohan, the acting is either subpar or it's kind of bad. Now again, Lori Cohan's great, but all the other cast members could have done such a better job. Now then again, the script is not a good script. It's a pretty badly written script in terms of dialogue. Lori Cohan seems to be the only one who knows how to work with the script while everybody else it's just like, uh, pretty much. And also the first half I kind of felt was a little boring. It was full of jump scares. Oh my God, the jump scares. Yeah, the jump scares in the first half were just, why? And I have to admit, there was a few plot points when when they were spoken of the film, I was just thinking, oh, cause this is gonna happen or it's gonna show up in the second half of the film. And sure enough, at least three things happened in the second half of the film. Kind of predictable, it's sort of dull in that. And the, the first half is just not good. It takes a while for it to get going, honestly. All right, let me just say this right now, guys. The Boy is nowhere close to being the best horror film ever made. It is nowhere close to being that. But for it being a January film from the guy who directed The Devil Inside, this is actually kind of a worthwhile film. The first half is not good, but the second half, I feel like picks up speed and it gives what I feel like I wanted. So you know, honestly, you know what? I'm gonna go three out of five for the boy. It really, honestly, it surprised me with how much I liked it. And also, thank you for actually having an ending this time around. All right, you guys, so comment out and let me know below. What was the best horror film that you ever saw in the month of January? Let me know below. And also, guys, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to see more content from me. And as always, until the next review, I will see you guys next time.